Hi everyone! Today we are going to go over all of my top, top favorite products to make boba with. As you guys can see on my channel and my Instagram and my TikTok, I make a lot of boba drinks at home and I'm constantly getting questions about what ingredients I use, where I get my glassware and bottles, and where I get that Lito ice that all of you guys seem to love. So today we are going to go over all of that and I know a lot of you guys say that certain things aren't available near you, so the good news is that a lot of it is available on Amazon, which is pretty accessible I would say. So yeah, I will have all the links to everything I talk about in this video in the description and also this video is sponsored by Squarespace but more on that later and yeah let's just jump right into the ingredient section so first and foremost whenever I make boba the most important ingredient is tapioca starch this is the brand that I typically use I find it at my local Asian supermarket but it's also available on Amazon if you can't find it anywhere near you there are also other tapioca starch brands like flying horse and Bob's red mill so if you can find anything that says tapioca starch or tapioca flour then that should be able to work for your boba and before you guys ask me can you use cornstarch instead of tapioca starch I made a whole video about it that I will link here where I tried cornstarch boba myself I show you the reaction long story short it's not good don't try it <laughs> if you really cannot find tapioca starch or tapioca flour near you I would recommend two different methods so the first one would be using rice paper which I know sounds a little bit strange but I did a whole video about it here with all the instructions and everything so you guys can go check that out rice paper I know is available in a lot of like American supermarkets so I would say check the Asian section of of your local grocery store but if you can't find it there rice paper is also available on Amazon and then the second method that I would recommend if you can't find tapioca starch or tapioca flour is using glutinous rice flour it is not the same as normal rice flour it has to be glutinous rice flour or sweet rice flour I also did a whole video on how to make this glutinous rice flour boba I found that this and the rice paper are the best alternative methods they're not quite the same as boba but if you really really cannot find tapioca starch I would say go and give those two recipes a shot but yeah for the glutinous rice flour I usually get this brand which is the same brand that I use for the tapioca starch and then sometimes I'll use this brand which is Mochico. I frequently see both of these at my Asian supermarkets but of course they're also both available on Amazon. All right next up let's talk about instant boba. This is basically like pre-made boba that you can buy and all you have to do is boil it almost like cooking instant ramen. So this makes it super super easy for you and if you don't want to make your own boba from scratch I would recommend using these. My personal favorite instant boba brand is this Wufu Yuan brand. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. I always go for the black sugar flavor but they also have a variety of other flavors like I've seen green tea, taro, lychee, rainbow. And then my second favorite brand would be this Ifa brand. I personally like this one less than the Wufu Yuan brand because I feel like it gets harder faster. This one stays chewier for longer. So next up let's talk about Ube Extract. This is my personal favorite brand. It's the Butterfly brand. I love using this in my boba drinks as well as baking. I know this can sometimes be hard to find. There was a period of time in the pandemic when it was literally sold out everywhere. So yeah if you guys didn't know you can order this on Amazon. All right, next up, we have this huge bag of crystal boba. If you guys have never tried crystal boba as a topping in your drinks before, I highly recommend it. It is one of my go-to toppings after just regular boba. It's made out of konjac, so it kind of has this almost crunchy jelly type texture-ish, but a little bit more bouncy, if that even makes sense. I personally love getting it in my fruit teas. The crystal boba helps it keep that like light and refreshingness that I really like. You can just keep it in the fridge, and it's super quick because you can just literally scoop it into your drink. Whereas with normal chewy boba, you would usually have to like boil it over the stove it takes time so yeah I would highly recommend this from Amazon I will link it in the description all right next up let's talk about matcha so my personal favorite matcha to use is jade leaf matcha it's available on their website or on Amazon I love using their ceremonial grade matcha for my matcha lattes they also recently came out with some hojicha products which I feel like is harder to find than matcha so I'm super glad that they came out with this because I love hojicha and it doesn't have as much caffeine as matcha so I can drink this later in the day and not worry about not being able to sleep at night but what's also great about jade leaf is that they have these little matcha starter kits that come with a bamboo whisk a matcha bowl and a little bamboo scooper thing now for things like syrups and powders and teas i really really like oakland tea co they do have their own website where you can order and it's a local bay area business so it's a super great way to support local businesses as well as getting your boba drink products this is where i always get my butterfly pea tea i also love not only their thai tea but their green thai tea if you guys have never tried green thai tea i highly recommend it it's like floral kind of has a jasmine-y vanilla taste and then another thing that I always use from them that I feel like
like is kind of hard to find is their taro powder and what's really great is that they have these recipes on the back of their products so it's really helpful for anyone who's starting out in terms of syrups they have a lot of different kinds of flavors so yeah this is a super great addition to my home cafe so now let's talk glassware I've gotten a lot of my glassware from Amazon but I do have some that I've gotten from other places so I actually set up a products page on my website using Squarespace it's super great because Squarespace is so easy to use yet very customizable at the same time you can pick from so many templates depending on your needs whether you want to start a blog manage reservations slash appointments showcase your work in a portfolio and so much more so setting up your website has never been easier there's no need to hire someone to code it for you then hire someone else to design it and make it look professional because Squarespace does all of that for you and the best part it's completely free to try so start your free trial using the link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash and if you choose to keep using Squarespace after your trial you can get another 10% off with this link so what are you waiting for turn your dreams into reality speaking of dreams the first glassware I have to mention is of course my feed may make glass boba straw this I made in collaboration with eco you which is also a local Bay Area business I bring this around with me literally anytime I want to get boba and of course I use it when I'm drinking boba at home next up I want to talk about this really cute little mushroom glass it's literally just so adorable and it looks really small but it actually can carry a decent amount of liquid boba drink always get questions about this I will link it in the description next up I have these little ribbed glasses I really like drinking my matcha in this or even just water they're stackable which is great because most of my glassware is not stackable next up we have this glass milk carton it's just super cute just reminds me of drinking milk as a kid but it's like fancy because it's glass next up I have these little pouring glasses and this really helps when I'm making my boba drink videos because it just helps to have everything pre-measured and poured out nicely for the video it just helps with the aesthetic so these are totally not necessary but if you're wondering where I get these I got all three of these from Amazon this one is super cute it has like a little rib detail and then this one has like a very interesting shape I don't know it's kind of like boxy and then this one is just kind of like a good old beaker it has milliliter measurements on the side I've been using all three of these for a long time would highly recommend them also on that note I have these two little tiny pouring cups which I use all the time in my boba drink videos just wanted to shout them out quickly in case any of you guys were wondering where I got these. This one is also a super popular one. It's like a soda can glass. I actually got this from Target, but you can get it on Amazon. I probably actually use this one the most when I'm not filming. So yeah, I really, really, really love these. This one is another super fun one. It has these little ripples or like waves, I guess. I just feel like it looks so cool. I really, really like the different like texture that it has. Honestly, it just makes the experience of drinking anything more enjoyable. This one is also very cool. It's like a square glass. And I really like this one because it's so long so if I were to do like a Thai tea or any drink that I want to have like a marbling effect on I would use this because you can watch the milk or cream just like flow down I just feel like it's so relaxing to watch then I also have this other kind of wavy bubbly kind of cup I just bought it because I thought it had a really cute and fun shape now back to the topic of straws I have these glass straws that have this little bendy detail which I think is so fun for drinks that have toppings I like using my boba straw and then for any other ones I like using these for these next few glassware pieces I did not get them on Amazon but I thought I would share them with you anyway these two are measuring cups so this one is from Ikea this one's from Target both are pretty accessible stores so I thought I would include them another thing that I got from Ikea is this glass teapot I really really like this it comes in a smaller size which is this one and a larger size so I actually have both of them I like to use this one more for if I'm making tea for just myself or if I'm filming content and I like to use the bigger version if I'm making like a big batch of tea but yeah it's super sturdy I really like the glass look and I would highly highly recommend and then these glasses are actually some of the ones I use the most when I'm filming content it almost has like a stemless wine glass look which I really like and these I actually got from CB2 which you can get in the CB2 stores or online on their website I'll link some similar options from Amazon below now to close out the glassware section I feel like I've been talking forever but this is a perfume boba bottle <laughs> I actually don't know if they have this on Amazon I got it from a local boba shop in Santa Clara called boba pup and it actually came with like a little writing on top of it but I used a certain tool to like scrape it off I really really like this one I think it's so cute I like this little cork that comes with it moving on to the bottles portion so these are all kind of part of the same set but I didn't buy them as a set I still had to buy them all separately here is the strawberry milk one this is actually the first one that I bought to see if I would like it and then I went ahead and ordered the banana version and the peach version they also have an avocado version which I also ordered but then when it arrived it was broken so then I had to send it back and now they're sending me a replacement but yeah I think these are super super cute I've already made a bunch of drink videos with them and and many more to come next I have this little egg bottle and this one I didn't get from Amazon I actually got this from Biao Sugar in New York but you can buy it from Amazon so I will 
link it. It's super fun. I never thought I would be drinking boba out of an egg, but here we are and I'm not mad about it. So I will link this in the description. Next up, I have these two milk carton bottles. So this one you can get on Amazon and it's like longer. This one is a bit more chonky and it has like a double wall lining. I feel like this one would probably keep your drink colder for longer. And another thing I noticed about this bottle is for some reason the ice sounds so good. It has this like very satisfying sound. This one, unfortunately, you cannot buy it on Amazon. It's from Doe Lashes, so you can buy it on their website. But this one is also great, and you can buy this one on Amazon. And last but not least, for the bottle section, we have these two bottles. This is a bear bottle, and it's super cute. I don't know if they sell this on Amazon, but I got this from Drip Tea in Seattle, and I know there's other boba shops that sell it, so unfortunately, I don't know if I can find something to link. But I thought, in case you guys were wondering where I got it, I would tell you guys. And this one is kind of like, I refer to it as a boba flask, and I actually got this from Daiso, but I I will link a very similar one in the description, but it has this like rectangular shape, which I think is really fun. Even just using it as a water bottle, I feel like it's super convenient. It can fit in like a purse or a backpack. So the shape of it just makes it really convenient. And if you can find this at Daiso, it's only $1.50. All right, now moving on to my other kitchenware items. First up, I know you guys have been waiting for this. This is the ice cube tray that I use to get my Lito ice. It makes these really tiny cubes of ice. They're so cute, so satisfying to crunch on. And these come in a pack of three, which is great. So yeah, that's probably one of the most questions I get. If you only want to get the ice cube trays, totally do that. I have been using these for years and they've served me really well. But if you want like an ice maker that makes really satisfying ice, I would recommend this nugget ice maker, which literally makes that really satisfying crunchy ice that you get at like Sonic. So if you want that ice maker, I would recommend it. But otherwise, for a way more affordable option, these ice cube trays do the trick as well. On the topic of ice cubes, I also have this little heart ice cube tray. This one comes in a pack of two. Not much to say about it. It's just really cute. <laughs> Moving on, we have these silicone big air ice molds. Now these can be used for other things, but I personally use them to make different kinds of ice. And it's just a super great way to level up your boba drinks at home. In terms of making blended drinks, I use my trusty Nutribullet blender. I use it for my morning smoothies every day. It always blends it up really smoothly. There's no chunks. And then for my fruit purees, I really love this Nutribullet immersion blender. I really like using it to puree fruits or also if I'm making boba pearls from scratch and I want to puree the fruit, then it's perfect for that as well. So yeah, if you're looking for for a blender or an immersion blender, I would recommend those. In terms of coffee machines, I use this one by Ninja. It has a lot of different settings. Bird literally uses it every single day to make his coffee. It even has a built-in milk frother, which is really nice. And I actually saw this recently on sale at Costco. So if you're interested in getting it, I would recommend checking there. And then last but not least is this Kasori tea kettle. I know they're very well known for their air fryers, but this tea kettle is actually really, really nice. Not only is it matte black, so you get that very nice look, but it also has these presets. So depending on what kind of tea you wanna brew, whether it be green tea or black tea or oolong tea, you can just click that preset button and it will heat the water to the prime temperature used to brew that specific type of tea. So anyone that's super into drinking tea or coffee, I would highly recommend this tea kettle. All right, I think we went through pretty much all of it. I try my best to do a very all around and cohesive guide of all my different ingredients, glassware, bottles, etc. But something may have slipped my mind. So if there's anything that I was missing, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload, give this video a thumbs up, and here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!